hello and welcome to the channel in this video i'm going to introduce you to a very fascinating paper which is still a paper and i'm hoping that it will be some sort of product very soon because the ideas which they have discussed in it are quite promising this paper discusses something really uh, timely because whatever this is proposing is the need of our and let me explain why i think so this paper which is titled as synthesizing text to sql data from weak and strong llms addresses the performance gap between open source and closed source large language models in text to sql tasks the researchers here propose a new approach that combines synthetic data from strong llms which are larger more powerful models with weak data from weak llms which are smaller and less well aligned model this approach increases domain generalization and learns from executor feedback through preference learning these researchers have developed a specialized text to sql model called as sense which achieves state of the art results on benchmarks and narrowing the performance gap between open source and closed source models the problem which they are trying to address is quite grounded in the real world the problem addressed in this paper is the performance gap between open source and closed source llms in sql um, from text tasks open source models are not as effective as closed source models such as gpt4 in converting natural language questions into structured query language or sql this gap is significant with open source models showing a 30 percent lower execution accuracy than gpt4 on the bird benchmark Solution is quite interesting. These authors have proposed a synthetic data approach that combines strong data from larger models with weak data from smaller models. Strong data increases data diversity while weak data provides valuable error information for learning from feedback. The authors employ preference learning to instruct language models to learn from both correct and incorrect samples. This approach is used to fine tune a popular open source based model code llama resulting in the specialized model sense there are a lot of great stuff uh, which is discussed in the paper and for example look at this prompt template from text to sql task and not only um, it has uh, described the schema where it is it has a table list and then some of the hints with all the primary key stuff there and then the question is being asked in simply um, natural language which is being converted into sql so in, there are few key things which are discussed here for example this sense model also presents evaluation of open source and closed source llms on text to sql benchmarks using a standardized prompt plus it also offers a proposal of a synthetic data approach that combines strong and weak data to enhance domain generalization and learn from executor feedback the development of the sense model which achieves state-of-the-art performance on benchmarks and narrows the performance gap between open source and closed source model the impact seems quite tangible and that is why i am saying it again and again that it will be real good to see some tool or model come out of it because the release of sense data and models um, sh should aim to further progress in the text to sql domain highlighting the potential of open source llms to be fine-tuned with the synthetic data and this approach has the potential to democratize data access and analysis making it more accessible to non-experts and this is another example where we are giving a model a very very well explained task with the domain schema and then the schema means that you know what tables are involved what other database objects are involved any constraints are involved or not any logical virtual and what are their relationships and then we are also telling it that what sort of difficulty level is there and then we are providing it additional guidelines and you can also provide it an example for few short learning so overall this approach looks really amazing because um, this addresses a real pro world problem they also have given this github uh, repo page but if you go there there is nothing so it says coming soon so hopefully uh, you know let's cross our fingers and see when this comes into fruition and then if um, they release something i'm going to install it locally and then we will 
play around with it but until then i think a pretty good effort seems need of thought let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching